Okay, so this is how to model and texture or map a Christmas gift, all right? Or just a simple kind of box gift. So we're going for the boxy look right here, okay? So first thing we need to do is apply that, uh, uh, that map. So we have to kind of unwrap this so that we can, you know, uh, position all those. Okay, so I'm going to go to UV editing. And I do like this. Uh, wrapping method right here because uh, when you're wrapping the gift uh, it's not necessarily you would cut out uh, the paper like this because it's not very uh, economical all right but we're gonna leave it like this okay so let's just uh, go to our shading let's go to our downloads and then let's take a look at our gift wrap right here so there it is let's apply it let's take a look all right there it is so kind of looking sideways though so uh, let's now go to our UV editing here and let's fix that okay so I'm gonna press A to select I'm gonna go R90 just kind of rotate it sideways let's take a look oh it's actually the opposite so undo R negative 90 all right so now at least it's kind of like kind of looking up so I'm going to uh, Scale this thing like so. All right, and then what we can do is that uh, let's turn on. I don't know if I turn on the node wrangler on this one. Uh, we do have video how to do the node wrangler. It's posted already. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn on my preferences here. Add on node. There's a node wrangler right there. So I'm gonna turn that on. That means if I select my map right here and I do Control T, <coughs> automatically my mapping and my texture coordinate is on. So if I do want to tile this one, okay, I can just increase my X right here to two by two, so I get smaller pattern. Okay, so we have the videos for all that. So just kind of look back into our video. All right, you'll be editing here. Uh, probably need to kind of position this a little bit, so I'm going to a GY. Want a little bit more of that kind of going in there. Okay, so now that we have that textured, now we can concentrate on modeling. It's still a cube, so that's our advantage. I'm going to go to number two to edit mode. If I want to soften this up a bit, I can do right click and bevel edge. And by doing the bevel edge, all right, here's the advantage of that is that it takes into account, see what's happening, in the UV map. So if I did this uh, after, if I did the uh, textures and all that and UV after I kind of modeled it, then I have to take into account my bevels and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I do want to bevel this a bit, okay? Or maybe we can bevel it after. Let's add the other features first. Okay, so let's take of a kind of imagine that there's going to be a uh, a top for this one, right? So I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to go to solid mode here so we can see it better. I'm going to do a Control R. That's going to be the lid. All right, that's going to be the lid. And typically, uh, the lid is going to be bigger than the base because you're going to have to, have in, to insert it okay so but the beauty of that like I said it's uh, everything here is already kind of textured so we're just cutting away and uh, not worry about that okay it factors in so you can see here if I put another line like so okay it just cuts into it None of the textures being stretched because we're just adding to it, okay? And the simpler your object is before you texture and UV edit, the simpler your work would be because you don't have to worry about this when you UV map later. Otherwise, you have to factor them all in, okay? So I'm going to select the bottom face right here, Control plus to select up to that part right there. I'm going to go to number one, which is the front. 
But we want to shrink this a bit. And I'm just going to go a good old fashioned scale here. I'm just going to go scale S. And then you see it. I just kind of shrunk it enough. See right there? Just so that the lid is bigger than the, uh, than the bottom base. Okay, And then we're going to go GZ to move this up. So it looked like right there we have a lid. Can't really see it in uh, look there, but here you can see it right there. Okay, so there it is. So let's say we want that a little bit more kind of dramatic. Uh, I can still scale that by just a little bit more. I'll make it a little bit obvious. Move that up a bit. All right. So now, no question, we have a lid. All right. So what can we do now? Um, we can add kind of like the ribbon going all the way. Okay. And then to do that, it's simply uh, extract it from this object here. Okay. So what I'll do is I will duplicate this object. Okay. There, it's duplicated. Okay. And if I go to number one right here. And I'm going to scale this slightly, the new one, the new du uh, the duplicate. All right, just by a hair right there. Okay, I just so let's give this a name. So the uh, the bigger one is we're going to call this ribbon, and this one is the uh, the gift box. All right, so they look exactly the same because it's a duplicate, but. Let's start giving them different uh, uh, look right now. So I'm going to simply just delete that one, give it a new material. So let's say we can contrast that one. Let's give it a, let's say, red ribbon right there. And we'll make that one kind of shiny. Okay, give it some shin. Okay. All right. So now there's the inside and this one. All right, so we just want sections of this. All right, so what we're going to do is do a control R. Okay, maybe that section right there. We just want this part. So I'm going to go select those by pressing number three for polygon selection. Alt click this horizontal line, it selects that entire row. And then what do we do? Control I, right? reverses the selection delete those faces and guess what <clears throat> I have that now and we just need to manipulate it a bit because it didn't quite work right there right so let's go to wireframe mode go to number one okay you can kind of see it right there those two right there so GZ and lower that a bit okay and then right here because it's not going to tuck in right there. What's going to happen to it? It's going to drop, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like so. Right there. Okay. So let's take a look. All right. There it is. And if you want another one, of course, you simply duplicate. And then you do your rotation. Let's do the, what we just learned before. Instead of typing the numbers, I'm going to hold down control. All right, there's that. You might need to start uh, putting a solidify on this now so to give it kind of thickness, right? Even though it's paper thin, there should still be some sort of thickness to it. So let's apply a solidify modifier, which we also have a video of it. Okay, so there's solidify. It simply gives it a tiny little thickness right there, All right? And uh, this thickness is going in, or you can make it go in or go out. So this one will just make it go in, and then the other one as well. Okay, but this one needs to be a little higher right here, so I'll do a Control R. Uh, yeah, somewhere in the middle right there. And then I'll put one right here, another one over here. 
So that's the difference. Okay, I select this edge right here. Okay. Move those up just a little bit, just so that it looks like there's. All right. There's your gift. You probably know what to do with a ribbon. It's just, again, you can extrude. Let's see here how it's going to happen to it because we have, we do have a solidify on it. If I to extrude, you see it. So it's. <coughs> All right, so there it is. And then how do you smooth that? Of course, subdivision surface, okay? You're gonna to have to uh, reinforce the edge, of course, after that one, right? You're gonna to have to add, let's say, Control R. Closer to the edge, like so. Because it doesn't have enough polygon, so it's starting to uh, pull away. So then you can move those. Oh, I was looking at the other <laughs> direction. Uh, there you go. All right. And you're gonna do it. You're gonna have to do it for all the corners here once you apply the subdivision surface because it's not enough. Let's zoom in and make sure. All right, or even going well. Okay, so you can add, of course, and I just did this so quick, folks. I mean, you can you can do a better job than I did. Um, Press B for doubt. Yeah, so you can, you know, I just I just duplicate just so that you I can show you. So you can definitely do a better job than that one. And let's go here now to the cube. Okay, select all the edges and let's do the bevel now. Since we are done with the GIF, so it simply just gives it a uh, like a softer edge. You know, last thing you want is you know your family starts bleeding because you <laughs> gave them a razor sharp gift, and then the gift inside is band aid. So it's kind of mean. All right, so there's that, and then you know, of course, I'm not gonna finish the demo because you get the point. Um, you'll know how to create those parts right there. All right, so that's how we make boxes. And then guess what? You make one box, then you uh, shade it, and then dupe. Only then you would duplicate it. Then you just replace the GIF wrap, and you have multiple shape box of different wrap. So that's how you populate a hundred of these and not model them one at a time. Okay, always do the shading and UV mapping first, so that's done. Otherwise, each time you make a new one or duplicate one, then you're, that's a lot of work, okay? So, um, I'm going to end it right here.